Time for another sailing video. Uh, so Steven and I have been having troubles hearing each other while the motor is running and we're trying to give each other instructions. I bought two Bluetooth headsets and we're gonna just call each other on the phone and hopefully talk to each other through these. We'll see if it works. Okay. She's off. Oh, shit, she's not off. Stop, stop. Alright, so either we're going to be crooked or the background is going to be crooked. We are on a 10 degree heel. <laughs> but I, uh, I'm using the right word, so that's, that's nice. You guys are going to see more of that from me because I am purposefully trying to use the correct words for the correct situation so there's less confusion about what we need and what we are expecting from each other. Um, I'm actually not nervous. I know Steven has control of the boat. I would personally not want to be in control of the boat right now because um, it feels like it's, I struggle with keeping like the handle where it needs that Wait, no, the tiller. The tiller? Yeah. I struggle with keeping the tiller where it needs to be when there's enough waves and winds pushing against it. Um, so for now, I'm not gonna be captaining. I will take the main, the main sheet so that if the heel gets too much, I can let it out or I can ask him to bear away or head up. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> uh, another note, the, the uh, Bluetooth phone headset connector things, they worked perfectly. So they have a little thing that goes around the ear and then it has a mic that goes down. So it's less likely that it'll fall off and fall out. And honestly, they were cheap enough. Like they were $35 each. Um, that if it got lost in the ocean, I wouldn't really care. I, I would be pissed that I lost $35, but it's not like a $200 piece of equipment. There was a slight delay, but we're talking like, what, a second delay? Yeah. Yeah. And I don't think any equipment is going to be able to fix that. I don't think I don't think there's anything because it has to connect to each other. There's yeah. going to be a delay. I didn't have to scream my instructions. We did have a little bit of trouble getting out. That's because I wrapped um, the forward spring. No, that was that, that was the spring line. That was. Um wasn't the spring line. Spring it's line. a bow line. It's the bow line. Not a bow line. Not <laughs> bow line. Yeah. So I asked, So when I was pulling it off, it was fine. But something coiled around the 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 cleat, the cleat and I had to have Stephen like finagle because of the the like the tying of itself when it wrapped around somehow. So he had to do a lot of backing up and forward and all that, and I had to check check the aft of the boat and him going backwards or forwards and then he had to adjust the motor accordingly so there was that's what you guys saw but the the mics themselves work perfectly for that because usually he can't hear any of the instructions I'm telling him and you heard me this time and I didn't have to shout so and we were going slow enough that you know any trouble wouldn't be an issue. We're going slow. We can push off of another boat. We have fenders. As long as we're not hitting them with our boat, they'll be fine. I've seen enough people actually 
bounce. bounce off of other <laughs> objects and be fine. <laughs> Actually, I saw a couple bringing in their boat um, into dock, like to park their boat. And they were going so slow, so slow, that she was able to just jump off the bow of the boat onto the, the deck or the, the platform. Not safe. Not safe, I can't do it, my leg is jacked, so that's you know something I have working against me. I don't have, it's like asking a person with one leg to jump off a boat, it's just not a good idea, I don't think. If you trip and fall, you end up between the dock and the boat, and then on a bigger boat, the boat's not gonna stop because of you. Right, well, and then, okay, imagine you hit your head, right, falling, and then the boat is on top of you. You're not gonna float up to the top. Someone's gonna have to jump in under it and try and find you. There's a lot of, these are all the things that, like someone asked why I get scared. It's because I can literally imagine the worst possible scenario. So you always imagine. I always imagine the worst possible scenario. Um, so I think, I think I want, I do want to talk about uh, trying to get out of the dock or out of the slip today. Okay. And so I think, so I think again, because, because I was, I was thinking that it was just not off the cleat, but it was running free. And you're trying to indicate that it wasn't running free. Mm -hmm. And I think that just say it just is going to be just fouled fouled line. Fouled line. Fouled. And, and then I know then I know that it's just not that you lost it. It's running free. That it's going to cause us from going. Anywhere. Okay. And then then I then I can react appropriately. See, I usually don't say anything if it if it doesn't. Yeah, no, if it's going to run sure. free. For sure. I said line is stuck. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty fucking clear. But I can say fouled line. <laughs> If you want to say line is stuck, then I know what that means. <laughs> this is true. We, the thing is, is we want to use the right, the correct terminology. And you yep. said fouled line is fouled the correct line. terminology. Yes. That is what we will use. We got some waves today. There are how many sails out here? There's there were, like there were three or four. There's earlier. a whole grouping of them down there. I don't know what's going on down there, honestly. That might be racing. So we got one sail there. We have another sail here. You just see a stick. I see up. it. Yeah. And then a little bit farther is a shorter stick. That's yep. another sail. So those are three definite ones, and then we don't know what's going on over there. Yeah. That's about it. But it's gorgeous winds. We're we're trucking along at two and a half knots. Two and a half knots, a little over. We've got a five degree heel. This is perfect. It's gorgeous out. I do need to switch between my. I need one of uh, your hiking jacket yep. shirts. Yep. I need a, I what are they called? They're made of a material that it's so that it's not hot on you when you're wearing it. It's like yeah, very it, loose, yeah. but it keeps the sun off of you and yeah. it keeps the chill off of you if there is a slight wind. They're quick. They're quick. They're quick drying. They're uh, UV resistant. They're not for warmth at all, but they definitely keep the sun off. Speaking of sun, could you uh, grab the? Uh, Sunscreen. I did that before we left the house. Yeah, I don't like Main is yours. Thank you. We're also making sure we call out stuff to each other. Like before, I would just hand it to him. Now, if the hatch is open, I have to say hatch open. If I'm handing him off anything, if I'm taking anything. After I'm done taking the tiller and main, I will show you guys more of the ocean and how gorgeous it is out. So right now, because I'm not as confident with stronger winds, waves, and all that, I did head up a little bit just to reduce um, the draft. The draft? Draft. Mm -hmm. Reduce the apparent wind, I guess. Reduce the apparent wind. Yeah, that is correct. That would be what we would call that. Yeah. So I'm tighter in on a close hauled. So there's close hauled, which is what, a 30 degree angle? To the yeah, wind depends on your boat. Depends on your boat, I guess. But I, I think it's 30 degrees is like the the thing that they always say. And so I would be sitting at a 25, just a slight, slight difference. And you can see it with the the arrow up on the top of the boat. I think it's just a weather vane, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. The weather vane will. I'll show you. Well, no, I can't show you. <laughs> I'll show you guys when I hand it over. <laughs> I don't know who's watching this stuff because I don't think anyone would watch this to learn how to sail. Probably. I don't know enough for this to be a learn how to sail channel at this point. But it is me documenting me learning how to sail. This is my video diary, so if anyone's interested in it, <laughs> that's who I'm talking to. Whenever you're ready. Okay. Fine. Come in. Cool. 
when the arrow is pointing at something, that's where the wind is. He's doing an exact close hauled right now because the arrows are lining up perfectly with the red line. I had it just off center that way a little bit. This is how pretty it is. I mean, I think I've seen, like I've shown this exact view so many times because we have not gotten out of the bay yet. I think today we are gonna try and get closer to those islands though, but I don't know if the camera's picking it up. It isn't um, like an advanced photography thing. It's more for videos, but there is a plan to get a really good camera. I have been saving, not well. I actually have dipped into my savings a couple times, but there is a plan to get a good camera by next summer because next summer we're going to Scotland. <laughs> We're gonna be on a boat for five days in Scotland. And we're gonna sail around to different islands. So, gotta save up that camera. And also I'm working on exercising more because they have hiking trails out there, so I need to be able to hike. And right now I'm kinda feeling my leg stiff at about two miles. And I wanna be able to do what, like an eight mile hike? Uh, three or four. four. Four would be good. Four is gonna get you most places you might wanna see. Four miles out, four miles back though, right? Uh, I would say, I mean, two miles. I mean, two miles out, two miles back is a, is a good, that's two hours, two and a half hours, depending on the train, maybe even three. That's oh. a pretty good hike. See, I always compare myself to your hikes where you do like a three fucking day hike yeah. or a whole week. Yeah, but that's not normal. That is not normal. <laughs> That's that's more extreme, right? If we're just if we're if we're just doing a, a, a thing out off the boat, off of the boat, it's it's going to be you know two, three, maybe four hours at the outside, and that's four hours would be eight miles at the most, really, unless you're trying to like bust your ass. No, but. I'm just trying to be able to go on a decent hike without a cane. Well, I think what we'll do, we'll do the, the waterfall down here. It's about two miles total. Uh, and then and maybe not later this week, we can do it the, to the overview, which is about four miles, I think, total. Okay, so we're planning on about two hikes this week? Yeah, that'd be nice. Not taking the dogs. The dogs no, can't handle they can't, it. They can't do it. That's so sad, too. Pumpkin used to love going on hikes with Steven. I've, I've taken both of them to the waterfall, so they could... Yeah, but Duke was not happy about it. Yeah. He was fine on the way up, not on the way back. Yeah. He has a very, I've seen this stuff already. I've smelled these smells kind of attitude about returning to the same location. I get it. When I am kayaking, I can kayak out forever. But once you make me kayak the same yeah. scenery, I get <laughs> really bored and it's, I'm all focused on trying to get back. So this boat right here has his anchor down, so I don't necessarily care how close we come in front. It's not moving? Yeah, he's not moving, he's got his anchor down. Yeah, but I want to get over there. Well, we got to get that way and then before we go that way. Because if, oh, we, right, if, if we, we turn can't right turn now, the if, boat. If we turn right now, we're heading this way. Yeah. <laughs> I keep forgetting yeah. you can't just steer it like, hey car, we're going to go this way now. It is all dependent on the wind. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, we're literally going, nine, going to go 90 degrees if we turn. Uh -huh. We're so far away. I can tell. I, I have a bad sense of distance and I can tell. Oh, you guys want to see this boat probably, huh? What kind of boat is that for? That's... I can't tell what they would have. There's machinery, but... Maybe an oil tanker. They look like they got some cracks up in the front. No, it's an anchor scrape. Oh. And all that, all that red paint. Yeah. The anchor scrape because it was coming across. Gotcha.
Oh man, I wish I had recorded that tack. Okay, so we were on a port tack and our plan is, is to start heading back at two. It's 1.53, we were just getting further and further from where we needed to be. So, perfect tack. I'm telling you, it was mwah, gorgeous. It was gorgeous. And it landed us exactly where we needed to be. We can be on this tack for quite a while. We've got 2.9 knots of wind. We're on a five degree heel, exactly the same as it was before we tacked. That is gorgeous. And we did a celebratory high five because it was so damn good. <laughs> but this is probably one of the best days out sailing so far, you guys. I, I This just really great day. Here we got the furthest we've ever been this season. Just, uh, I'm in really good spirits right now because that was so damn good. It was just really good. <laughs> First seal spotting of the day. What? It's right there. Do you not I see, see it? it? I see it, yes. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Definitely. Gotta get a better yeah. camera, dang it. There's <laughs> gun. All right, there is just not enough wind for us to want to try and sail back for the next two hours. We're hungry. We've been out for a few, we had a lot of fun. So we are motoring back, the sails are down. All that's left is for me to catch the damn boat, which uh, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. It'll be interesting. I caught a cleat, we're good. Are we we're good. Good? Yep. I <laughs> I got the opposite cleat. <laughs> hey. hey, it's a cleat. I said I want to throw it far so it doesn't miss. <laughs> it's cleat. <laughs> Honestly, that was perfect. I don't care. You I got like, it. I caught, a, you I caught, caught it. It's we fine. Because we were about ready to get a little squirrely, so that was yeah. perfect. But it you came in perfectly. I was like, okay, I just want to make sure I throw far enough. Yep. But the speed was perfect. Um, you turned it exactly the right time. The position that you came in was great. Everything was pretty much fucking perfect. I didn't mind that we were hitting our bumpers. We have the setup and I knew it wasn't going to be at a corner. So yeah. That concludes sailing for today. I give it 10 out of 10. Uh, also, you guys missed two seals playing. It was so adorable and the camera wasn't faced that way. So. Maybe next time. Bye.